what we look at or what we find from looking at the most objective research out there are two things. One is that there is absolutely no correlation, no connection between passing right to work legislation and its impact on employment or unemployment. Phrased another way, if you think that passing right to work legislation is going to somehow produce more jobs or lower the unemployment rate, there's no evidence to support that. And research, impartial research, consistently supports that. Implication for the middle classes is, is that if this were to pass, it's going to affect your paycheck also. Again, don't think that because you're not union, it's not going to have an impact. Because, again, if unions have been successful over time and generally raising the wages of everybody, getting the, you know, the 40-hour work week, getting health care you know, as a norm to be covered by employers, by weakening labor unions, you weak the, weaken the ability of, of, of workers, of people, of middle class across the board. Expect less pressure to support helping you increase your wages and your income over time. That's why the middle class should be concerned about it.